This is a pretty good example of true fatwood. Fatwood is kind of a vague concept in a way because when people say fatwood they could mean one of several things. They could be talking about pure fatwood, partial fatwood, but true fatwood will take a flame in just about any weather. It's uh, highly resinous. It can come from, uh, it's usually from what I've seen in the YouTube videos, it's a southern or eastern pine. But the uh, white spruce in Alaska also produces it. Now I've seen this a few places in Anchorage. I'm not sure if people are trying to be malicious or if they're actually trying to turn the tree into fatwood. This is a public park, so I don't see how you're going to get out of here chopping the the fat wood in this tree down and getting away with it. But as I go around the tree here, you can see somebody girdled the entire tree and that will of course kill the tree. It was probably done recently this year. Looks like the tree's already starting to die back. It's dumping needles on me right now. But uh, yeah, this will kill the tree. I didn't do it, somebody did. I don't know why, but like I say, I've seen this quite a lot. Maybe in the comments somebody could tell me if there's a reason for this in Anchorage or if it's just people being vandals and malicious. But uh, back in the day what they would do is they would come along and they would cut the tree a couple feet, several feet off the ground in the winter, in the spring. And then as the tree comes back to life, it would push all that resin up and stop because there's no more tree to send it up into and the bottom half of the tree would all be resin. And I'm not sure if you can see it in light here or not, but uh, you can see this tree has dripped resin all the way down. And if I pull my lighter out here, you can see it's actually enough resin that it'll take a light to it. The phrase back in the day used to be, let's not, let's, Let's light a stick of knotwood and get the hell on out of here. That's what it was referring to. They would take a resinous knot out of a pine tree, chop it out, and then use that as a torch and light their way in even poor weather. It's rare to see a spruce with this much fat wood on it that it'll take a flame in even really poor weather like this. But like I say, somebody did an alteration to this tree to create this situation. This is, you don't see this in nature too much. Maybe if a bear came along or, you know, really scratched a tree up, you would see that. Maybe a moose, but uh, yeah, this is definitely deliberate. So, uh, yeah, there'll be one less tree in this park. It's a shame you got a, you know, billion spruce trees in the street. You, in the state, you could have done this to and you chose the one right in the park here. So, I don't know. Just wanted to share that with everyone. Hopefully you learned something today. Like and subscribe and all that great stuff. Thanks for watching.